welcome back to part three, event five, the duel. And the first up is Ellery. And he's going to be facing the unmistakable Hunter. Over to John Anderson. Although these celebrities are having fun this evening, we asked Ellery, were they taking the challenge seriously? Everybody wants to win who, who comes here. They have a secret desire. Everybody's thinking to themselves, yeah, I don't want to embarrass myself. I want to do as well as I can. But deep down, really, there's a competitive edge in everybody because most people obviously who come, they've either played sport at some level and they feel that they either want to win or, as I said, do well or beat the person who they're competing with. And I feel I want to do that too as well. Um, I know it's a tough schedule, and uh, but I'm looking forward to it. Three! Usually the man who responds to the whistle first, the victor in the duel. That's right. Hunter on the attack right away. Ellery just trying to defend himself. And now in trouble. They're giving away three stone here, Mike. Hunter wailing away. Ellery, a oh. big, strong man himself. Not quite the size of Hunter, but he's got a low center of gravity. He's not budging up there on that dual platform. Good shot. Hunter has a four-inch height oh, advantage. Oh, Hunter with two huge shots. Still Ellery not going anywhere. Oh, good jab. And that is it. It's a draw. Ellery Hanley will get five points for going the distance with Hunter. He gets the draw. The hard way, and if we check out the replay, Hunter throws some tremendous combinations together. Ellery takes a licking, but keeps on sticking. Next up on the podium is Eddie Kidd. Eddie, 5 foot 11 inches and 12 stone 7 pounds. Just into the toilet. Well, that's a relief, because tonight he faces Shadow. This courageous stuntman has faced many dangers in his career. Here he is, jumping the Great Wall of China. Well, tonight, another great danger to face, Shadow, of course, and I bet he wishes he had his motorbike with him so he can make a fast exit. Celebrity ready! As a stuntman, Eddie has been in peril's path before, but nothing quite like this. Shadow lives for this event. Oh, Eddie, a little previous hey, there. Eddie. Whistle hasn't even blown yet, guys. Shadow, wait for the whistle. <laughs> I think we all know it was Eddie's fault. I've not seen anyone try that on Shadow before. What do you think, Mike? Not a good idea to get the awesome Shadow upset. Or irritated. Indeed not. Two, one. Well, five stone and four inch advantage to Shadow, and isn't he making it pay? Look at those shots, Mike. One, two, three, four shots on the back of Eddie Kidd's head. Shadow gets the job done. He certainly does in style. We check out the replay. Look at this. Eddie never had a chance. He may have jumped the Great Wall of China, but tonight he jumped from the dual platform. Well done, Eddie. You're still alive, are you? Just about. That guy hits hard, I'm telling you. Your wife's in the audience. What do you think she'd be thinking right now? Uh, that she could hit me as hard as him. <laughs> <laughs> Shadow? It's been great competing with these guys. Anyone who would come out and compete against the gladiators who shows a lot of courage, demands, demands respect. Yeah, let's hear it for Eddie and Shadow! <laughs> Next up is Martin of Fire. And he's going to be against Trojan. <laughs> Over to John Anderson. On guard. Well, Martin, a rugby league player, only giving away one inch in height, but just under four stone in weight. Three, two, one. Here we go, Trojan against Martin. And oh, Martin he's pulling him. In a hurry and he doesn't want any part of the big man, Trojan. Well, he said earlier he runs away from the big man. He certainly ran away from Trojan. Whipping the rugby star in about three, four seconds. Oh, Martin. <laughs> Took some licks there. You didn't want to hang about there, did you? No, it was a lot easier when we were practicing. <laughs> they hit hard, don't they? Oh, yeah. It's, uh, just once you lose your balance, you know, you've gone. Was it possible to fight back? It didn't look like you wanted to fight back. Well, I just <laughs> you can't throw any blows. I, I try to keep my weight on the front foot, but once I took a hit, you know, I put the guard up, but still I was off balance. Well, this guy it's is tough. Strong. You can imagine what it'd be like fighting against Shadow, can't you? Oh, God, yeah. <laughs> Trojan, 
couple of excellent blows there. I was getting to the hang of it now. It's like uh, Christmas time, but I wasn't giving out no presents today. Were you disappointed he jumped off so early? I thought, yeah, I thought we were going to stay up there a bit longer, you know? Want to take some more punishment? Yeah, I thought we were going to go up there, have a cappuccino between us and uh, have a nice time, but it was good. You do it right. Well done, Trojan and Martin! Well, I don't know if he takes sugar in his cappuccino, but Trojan certainly served up a couple of lumps there. And next up is our 400 metre sprinter, Derek Redmond! And he's going to be up against the Saracen! Well, sprinting, not an acid in this event. Oh, what is John Anderson? In the words of Martha Reeves and the Vandellas, there's nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. And he's giving away five and a half stone and three inches in height. Derek, desperately unlucky in the Olympic Games when he pulled that hamstring and had to be assisted over the line by his father. And indeed, John, Derek has treated all of these events here in our celebrity special like it was the 400 meter final of the Olympics. Yes, you're right, Mike. Me! Very serious Me! about winning it all. Derek Redman against Saracen. Here we go. Let's get ready to rumble. Derek now down to one knee, now back up. Some good licks Saracen here. getting real aggressive, perhaps irritated that Derek is able to hit him with all these shots. He looks worried. Oh, he's got it. Oh, he's got it. Saracen disqualifies himself for being overly aggressive. Crossing over to Derek's platform. That will give the sprinter 10 points. Well done, Derek. And a huge lead going into the eliminator. David and Goliath. Anyone got a tin opener for that helmet? <laughs> well done, Derek. You've seen it all before. It's different. Different the other side, isn't it? When you're standing down there, you see one contender, one gladiator. When you're up there, you're the one contender, you get one hit, you see three gladiators. <laughs> so I just thought I let the one in the middle. <laughs> but Derek, you were going for his leg, a couple of blows to the stomach, a couple of the head. Looked like you rehearsed that, you practiced it. Well, I'd seen quite a few people do it, so I thought, Bob and weave, Bob and weave, see what you can do. But wherever Bob came, his pugil stick came, so... Well, that was a great fight. That was a hell for leather, wasn't it? Oh, yeah, well, if you're going to go out, you might as well go out fighting. Well done, you got yourself ten points! Yeah. Saracen. Hey, this guy, he surprised a few, eh? Surprised them. He was very tough. He wasn't going to put me off. So I thought, I'll go blow for blow. Every time he hit me, I hit him. He was weaving, he was going. And I stepped across. Unlucky. It's here for Saracen. Ten points, Derek Redmond. After five events, Derek is top of the tree on 43. Martin O'Fire, 29. Ellery Hanley, 24. Eddie Kidd, 20. Again, we lose the two lowest scorers, so our two E's, Ellery and Eddie, get the biggie. Well, Ellery, unfortunately, we've got to say goodbye to you. But most importantly, have you enjoyed it? It's been absolutely tremendous. And I'd like to say thank you to all the crowd. They've been absolutely marvellous, and uh, I think that it'd be great if we can have more events like this for charity because I think it's a fantastic cause and a worthy cause for everybody, and it's a great entertainment for children and everybody, adults and everybody. Thank you very much. Hello, thanks very much. And Eddie, unfortunately, you've got to go as well. But Eddie, I've got to say to you, I mean, you're a man, you put your life in your own hands many, many times. I mean, it must have been frightening up there with Shadow. Well, he's big, you know, and... Uh... I thought I heard the whistle, so anyway, I got in there early, but Shadow didn't like it, he put me down quite quick. This was the early, the early blows that, you got in? <laughs> that was the early tactic, it didn't work though. <laughs> Damn good idea. See you later, you Thanks. enjoyed it? Yeah, brilliant, and uh, I'd love to do it again, it's been brilliant. Well, I'm sure we'll have you both on again. Thanks very much, see you later. Eddie and Ellery. Excellent. Who will be our celebrity champion? The Eliminator will tell the tale. It's track and field great versus rugby star. At the moment, Derek has a 14-point lead on Martin, which means the 400-meter ace will get a seven-second head start. Remember, he's against one of the fastest rugby league wingers in the world. Derek, you will go on my first whistle. Martin, you will go on my second whistle. Three, two, one. Track and field speed versus rugby speed. They are slightly different. However, Martin does have the potential to make this race close. 
He certainly does, Mike, but you've got to remember Derek Redmond has been totally focused throughout the entire competition. And look at him go on that hand ladder. Tremendous speed. Now across the rolling beam. On to the cargo You know next. he has a secret desire to one day become a gladiator himself. Don't we all? He'd have to put on a little vault, but there's no question he would fare well in these events. Martin safely across the rolling beam and onto the cargo net. Martin closing in. But Derek is across to the zip line. Who bet against him now? The only break our contenders get throughout this eliminator. Good landing. And Martin having a torrid time on that cargo net. Steady as she goes. Derek across the balance beam, now the Travelator. And he punishes the final obstacle. So Derek Redman, the 400 meter track star, is now Gladiator, Celebrity Champion, 1994. Well, I've never seen it done like that before. Oh, he slips. Hope he hasn't hurt his ankle as he pumps up the Travelator. Oh, he dives for it. Fingertips. Crowd here at the NIA, not letting Martin quit. They never do, Mike. <laughs> He finishes <laughs> only just. Congratulations, Derek. There's your lovely, magnificent celebrity gladiator trophy and a check for £5,000 for charity of your choice, which is, I'm actually going to split the money. It's going to the Sports Aid Foundation, who's helped myself and my wife, Sharon, plenty of times in the past. And also, also to Northampton General Hospital, to the children's section, because they helped us quite a lot when Elliot was born. Well done. I've got to ask you, have you enjoyed today? I've really enjoyed today. I'm glad I've won, but Fash, I would have liked you in there. You were last year's champion. Next year, mate, let's get it on. Next year will be a very interesting year. I look forward to that challenge. OK, so do I. Let's hear it for Derek Redmond! Martin, it has to be said, no one, no one ever on Gladiators has attacked the eliminator course in the way that you did. I mean, you were trying to get up that net, going hell for leather, had a little bit of trouble on the beam, and nearly slipped off at the end, and up that travelator. I mean, you've seen it on the telly. What's it like? Oh, it's a lot easier, isn't it? Watching? Oh, very much so. But you must be pleased with second place. Well, yeah. Obviously, I, I, I didn't think I'd get very far, but, you know, I'm quite pleased, obviously. You know, Derek, I think. It's not fair, really. I think he should be a gladiator, not a challenger. Don't give him any <laughs> ideas. You know what he's like. Now, you've got this trophy, and in here, I have a cheque for £2,000. You better get thinking about some uh, charities, haven't you? Yeah, I did. I, Henry wanted me to give it to his charity, but I don't think I can, <laughs> I don't think I can do that. But as I say, I'm not you know, expecting to win. I'll have to, to think about a worthwhile charity, but I'm sure. But basically, some charities for the care of children. Very much so. Well, it's been great having you on the show. I hope you come back sometime. Martin Ophia! Well, we sincerely hope you've enjoyed this uh, celebrity special version of Gladiators. We certainly have. You've enjoyed oh, it? Oh, yes, very good. But well, we're going to see you soon. Bye-bye. For safety reasons, do not attempt...